In this video, I'm gonna show you how to craft a highest damage bow. So, the name of this bow is Solex Survivor Heavy Bow. It's written here that the highest damage of this bow is 222. But right here, I'm only able to craft my bow until 192. You might be wondering why I didn't craft this bow to 222, so I will explain it to you later in this video. So to craft this bow as well as getting it to the highest damage is very dependable on the material that you use to craft it. Here it shows that it needs any roots, any reeds, and any horns to craft this bow. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the best roots, reeds, and horns for you to use to craft this bow. Starting from the roots, there are two types of the roots that are best for crafting this bow. The first one is Poor Root, as you can see it has 93 damage. And the second one is Rag Trunk, as it has the same damage as the Spore Roots. But here, I'm using the Rag Trunk Root because it's easier to find. For the Horn, the best one is the Storm Glider one, as it has 56 damage that you can craft to your bow, and it has the highest damage among other creatures. And for the Reed, I'm using the Pale Canyon Reed. It's rare and I think it's the best read in the game as it offers the highest damage among the others. Now for the location of the Red Trunk Roots, it's located around here. You just need to go there and find it because it's literally scattered around the area. Once you're in the area, find a tree that looks like an acorn like this and you can find the roots underneath it. For note, if you want to get the best quality of the roots, you should take it during the daytime. And if you want the roots to have its big damage, make sure it's pristine. Now for the location of the Storm Glider's horn, you need to go to this area as it guarantees you an exquisite quality of the horn. But let me tell you, it's so hard for me to get the peak damage of this horn because for you to be able to get the highest damage, you need to clean kill the storm glider. And it's hard for me to do it as I think I have a skill issue. But if you're so good at this game, I'm sure you won't have any difficulties at all. Because I wasn't able to do the clean kill as well as merciful, I only got 48 damage rather than 56. And the last location is where to find the Pale Canyon Reed. So you have to go to this point, exactly here. Once you go there, you can just take the Pale Canyon Reed. But for note, to get the best quality of this reed, you need to take it while there's a hurricane. But sadly, I wasn't able to do it because I tried to skip times for an hour just to wait for the hurricane to come. And it's useless. So I gave up. <laughs> so instead of getting 56 damage, I only got 51. So if there's happened to be a hurricane while you're playing, better be running to where the Pale Canyon Reed is located. Now once all the materials have been collected, you just need to go to the crafting table and craft your Solex Survivor Heavy Bow. Here, I can only get 192 damage because 1. I wasn't able to clean kill the Storm Glider and 2. I took the Pale Canyon Reed when there was no hurricane. So because of that, I couldn't get the best damage from my bow. But speaking about damage, it turns out when I calculate the damage if you get all the best quality materials, you will only get 205 damage. I don't know whether there are other materials that over higher damage or is there any other way to get this bow to its full potential, but if any of you know how to get it, please kindly leave a comment down below. But for me, this bow is enough to just sweep enemies. So I really hope you'll find this video helpful and see you in the next video. Bye!